Hi, I'm Merv Lapus from Common Sense Media. I'm here today to help you think of ways to support your kids in making the best use of their time with technology. Whether it's watching TV and videos or using the internet to play, learn, and connect with others. Parents and caregivers often ask us, how much screen time is too much for my child? The truth is, there's no one size fits all answer. Every family is unique with different values, needs, and schedules. What works for one family may not work for another. I'm here to offer some tips and guidance around creating healthy habits that'll work best for you and your family. Let's start by talking about screen use for kids by age. For preschoolers aged two to five, the American Academy of Pediatrics suggests limiting screen time to one hour per day of high quality programs. The first five years of a child's life are an important time in brain development and what they watch, read, listen to, and play affects them deeply. So choose TV shows and games that support building life skills like critical thinking, focus, self-control, and getting along with others. And as much as possible, try to watch with your child. You can ask questions about what they see on the screen and help them make connections to their lives. For kids age six to nine, there's no set time limit that experts recommend. Instead, it's important to help kids this age begin developing healthy habits when it comes to screen time. Nonetheless, they're still learning life skills, so focus on educational shows and apps that support curiosity, self-control, emotional awareness, cooperation, and independence. Try to aim for a balance of activities throughout the week, both with and without tech. Lastly, make sure screen time isn't interfering with sleep, time with friends and family, or time spent outdoors. Guidelines for screen time can be a bit more challenging when it comes to preteens and teens. At this age, kids are more independent, have more access to technology, and increasingly make their own choices about the content they engage with. While this can make managing things difficult, you don't want to force the issue. Family conflicts over tech can harm relationships or have a negative effect on older kids' mental or emotional health. Keeping the following tips in mind may help during this tricky time in their development. With preteens and teens, try not to be judgmental about what they do online. Show genuine interest in their online activities and they'll be more open to sharing. Help older kids and teens identify how various online activities make them feel. Older kids can often recognize when they spent too long online. Talk to them about strategies they can use to manage their own time, like using screen time features on their devices or turning off notifications. And while the amount of screen time your child is using is important, how they spend that time is equally important. We've broken down screen time activities into three main categories. You can use these three categories to spark conversations with your kids about the types of activities they do online and help them begin to make thoughtful choices about how they spend their time. Passive screen time includes activities like watching TV or videos or mindlessly scrolling. Interactive activities include watching or playing together, video chatting, texting, problem solving, and participating with on-screen characters. And creative screen time is whenever we use tech to create something like music, digital art, or writing. While each type of activity can have value, those that are interactive and creative will provide kids and teens with more opportunities for learning and connection. So, now that we've talked about screen time limits and the different categories of screen time, I'd like to leave you with some tips you can start using today to help your family set healthy habits with tech. Number one, set expectations by creating a family tech plan. As a family, set guidelines for what, when, where, and how long kids can use tech. Be sure to include your kids in the conversation. They'll be more likely to follow the rules if they help create them. Come up with a rule or two for the whole family so grown-ups can model healthy habits and be sure to check in regularly to address any issues that may come up or revise the plan as needs and values change. Number two, focus on high quality content and programming. Remember the three screen time categories we discussed and encourage screen time activities that get kids to think, create, or play along. Steer kids towards shows, apps, or games designed with learning in mind and find entertainment and learning content that matches your child's age and interests. Number three, watch and play together. Research shows that sharing screen time together has a range of positive effects. Of course, we understand that you can't always watch or play along. What's most important is the conversations you have with your child before, during, or after screen time. Ask them questions to help them think critically about what they're watching or playing and point out connections to their own lives. When you show interest in something they like, it can strengthen your relationship and build trust. This goes for big kids too. Number four. 
aim for balance between screen time and other activities. If screens are getting in the way of homework, hobbies, social time, physical activity, or sleep, consider making changes to your family's screen time rules. Ask your kids how they're feeling when they're using technology. If they aren't feeling emotionally or physically healthy, talk about some strategies that might help them feel better. And number five, lead by example. Above all, be a good role model. Make an effort to use your own devices in a healthy way. Behave positively when interacting with others online and practice self-control. Talk about how you feel when you use tech and the strategies that help you feel more balanced. Consider putting away devices at mealtimes, turning off background TV, and setting your phone down when someone is talking to you. We know there may be periods when your family spends more time than usual with screens, and that's okay. Rather than feel guilty about it, take it as an opportunity to reflect and make necessary adjustments. Positive and healthy screen time habits are possible with a little guidance and a solid plan. Thanks for watching. We hope that what you heard today takes some of the guesswork out of raising your kids in a digital world. For more helpful tips and advice, visit us at commonsense.org/families.